And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Starfield. Make sure it's the like button, make sure it's the subscribe button. Let's get into it. Incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of castle mass. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekron offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Walter is very proud of his business, and he should be. This his ships so. are very high quality. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know, Mr. Stro, you are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astral Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me. Can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Oh, don't mind the two of us. Challenging each other intellectually is a cornerstone of our relationship. Now I must point out the obvious. 
The Astral Lounge. Huh? It's a remarkably insecure location. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. is amazing! Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora, by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. Well, except the spaceport, of course. And what are we waiting for? Let's set you up! Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry... Hope to see you again. Feel like getting zoned? I go. The Astral Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city.
I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. Excellent. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Enjoy the lounge. I never had the patience for computer systems. Have a moment. Feel like making a purchase today? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Had a freelancer trail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Welcome to Newell's. Sure.
Thanks for stopping by our shop. Walter is very proud of his business, and he should be. His ships are very high quality. Shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains. I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a hope or a tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. How are the preparations coming? Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal. 
big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. you see I'm busy drinking. Oh really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. It's party time! Yes. Just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. Now before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands and we're not dead. How does that sound? Let's just try it my way first, hmm? Remember that man is selling the artifact for a reason. He might be nefarious, but he might just be desperate. If everyone walks away with what they want, I'll call it a success. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now.
I leave now, I can get a jump start on the people after me, instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah... Uh... Fine. This thing is all yours. Well, it's off. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Go home. Shall we? We have it. This couldn't have gone better. It's exciting to see this little venture paying off, but we really do need to be careful. The artifacts were one thing, but this... Well, we really need to keep this to ourselves. Can you imagine if word of this got out? If you thought it was a challenge to find artifacts, imagine doing it with everyone else in the settled systems vying for them as well. We need to figure out what this all means before someone else does. I guess we should be grateful we seem to be ahead of the pack, as it were. So far, no indications that anyone else has noticed what we're up to. Let's just hope that doesn't change with this... newfound ability of yours. Remember, you're representing all of us out there. Stop right there! You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Sending our men to the Astral Lounge? Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. We hope you've enjoyed your time in the Astral Lounge. Gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby. Shall we see if we can make an appointment? Yeah? Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Oh, 
I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Hoping to get a meeting? I've been waiting all day. Wait. This clearly is not the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move. But one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? For well, the moment. Slayton will be scrambling his own security teams once he gets wind that we're no longer at his mercy. Our time is limited. I'm aware of the irony of... Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employers are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. for checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
expect us to climb up the trade tower? It's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well. Coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. Hmm. You do make a bold point, but that doesn't resolve our current dilemma. Perhaps I can help. We're both people of business, Nicholas. In the same industry, no less. Yes, I'm beginning to see the opportunity. There is, however, one final detail to disclose. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. I yield to your judgment. You've more than proven yourself capable of resisting any course of action I attempt to dictate to you. That seems a bit extreme for the circumstances. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. No sense in more violence. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. No, he probably wouldn't. 
Oh no, you. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Slayton took it all, probably in one of his secure accounts somewhere. I'll settle up with him later. Arbitration, lawyers, all that nonsense. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Justice for some, huh? Fine. Rather be caged than dead. It seems you will have plenty of time to evaluate that sentiment. While you are in jail. I will make the arrangements for Neon Security to take him into custody. You're free to leave. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. I guess we can call. I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? Hopefully the effort required here was unique. I do not wish to make a habit of this. All in all, yes, I used a pun. Forgive and treasure. Why do you draw out the vowels of my name in such a prolonged manner? It's like saying hey and your name at the same time. It's friendly. I Ship's don't clear. see that the is called. My name is my name.
much. But our ship is created from a power beyond your understanding. Its semblance to your own vessels only aids us in masking our presence. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. No one, especially not you, determines our worth. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. Hold on. I think I prefer the wild planets to this city. At least there, the predators are easier to spot.
I'm still getting used to this place. It does not quite feel like home, but hopefully someday. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Wait, what happened? Who was after you? Take a look at the ship's sensor data. I think everybody needs to see this. Uh, all right, I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star. Demand it, we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony, finally popping its head up? Uh, another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life, or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Just because we can't ID it, doesn't mean it's not one of ours. It's got shields, engines, all the usual settled systems tech. I don't mean to judge your grasp of material engineering, but I've never seen a starship built out of whatever that is. Although I bet if you put that ship hull in an artifact under the same lens, you'd get a match. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can including some way to fight them, if necessary. Until then, we stay the course. Collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Hey, Captain. Can I talk with you for a bit? Need something? I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. It got me pretty nostalgic, and I started digging in some old things. Just sort of reminiscing. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. It was surreal, honestly. So, most of the messages were everyday things. Lots of excitedly written news about biodiversity and plant life. But one thing stood out. In one of his messages, he mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. He said something terrible was happening there. But the message was garbled after that. Just wait, listen. The point is that I found an encrypted message where one shouldn't be. 
Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Turns out the message was from Irvin, and he was begging me to help him. The message was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. <sighs> yes. Hearing his voice in so much pain was very difficult. Oh, I wish I had noticed this message when he sent it. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. I understand that. Trust me. But I still want to know what happened. He mentioned a court case. So there's a paper trail. Now, I happen to have a trust. I need to pay in advance and get... That works. You know, hearing Irvin's voice again... You're right. It... Hopefully poking around and... Well, anyway. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Consolation is an artifact. You had a hell of a shake. Ready to head back out there? Bend your ear when you got a moment. I didn't think that. Double check the safety and. Unless. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. The whole Terramorph situation, seriously, hats off to you. When I was growing up, everyone how they could seemingly strike it. The stuff you've done here could save so many lives. Eat your nutrient paste. I know using the microbes to kill the Terramorphs may be controversial, but for what it's worth, I think we just can't take any chances with those... Imagine, a generation from now, Terramorphs will just be a legend. The United Colonies. Even if they don't know it. Items may require multiple levels of approval and can take a welcome to UC Dis. Well, well. You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait.
my sources back. You're... Really? To say you have my undivided attention is an understatement. What was your role in that? Wait, wait. I heard someone from Constellation was involved. <laughs> that was you? Oh, this is great! Like, embarrassingly important award-winning great. The whole city is still on edge over the attack. We were fortunate, damn fortunate, that casualties were so low. What was it like in the thick of things? That makes what you did even more... well, amazing. It sounds like New Atlantis. Heck, the whole you see owes you a great debt. Any closing comments? I already have a good story here. That's a mouthful. A thankful you guys are around mouthful. Hey, Constellation, from all of us that live here, thanks. We use the word hero a lot in news, but you really are one. Limited resources. We're no rely. Can't say I'll have what you need. You see something you... Stay safe out there. It's cliche, but it's true. Everything has a price. You won't find a better... You won't find a better... Pleasure dealing with you. Hi. Hello. All 
this stuff. Absolutely. Need something else? I'll be here. Hope you're finding everything. Oh, please, take a... Appreciate the business. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that? If you are free soon, could we talk? the vowels of my name and such a prolonged
to smudge the paint.
Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.